Hello my fellow remote workers, telecommuters and my online students. Today I am going to be helping you to be super productive from your home. Chop chop, let's get into the video. So let's identify the major problem that we are facing. The major problem that we are facing is that we have no time boundaries or timelines. We just drag a simple task from here to there and stress ourselves out. Let's talk about the solutions. The grossest thing and the biggest mistake that we all do when it's work from home is that we just wake up from the bed, we open the laptop, start working, eat there, sleep there and again at 9pm or 10pm we close our laptops and we again sleep there. Your body does not understand that it is time to work and it is always lazy and in the sleeping mode. So to change that, we definitely need to designate a dedicated workspace and go sit there so that your body automatically wakes up into the work mode and start working. So this tip is going to sound a little bit silly but bear with me and trust me this definitely works. This tip is to dress up for work. And when I say dress up, I don't mean all formals and all. But it can be as simple as wearing a lipstick which works for me or wearing a watch which again works for me or combing your hair or even taking a bath and changing into fresh clothes may work for you. So definitely try that because it puts your mind into a productive mood and boosts your confidence. So my tip number three would be to set proper goals. When I say set goals, it means that you have to set particular goals for your days or weeks or months so that you don't get lost when you wake up and you don't feel oh no I don't know what to do. This setting goal will give you a proper clarity of what to do and what not to do. So that when you have a proper plan you know when eventually when you get up you know what to do, what is the day is about and what you're going to do in the whole day. And while talking about setting goals it goes hand in hand with my next tip that is being time blocking. So when I say time blocking you need not block every 30 to 15 minutes. You can block the whole day into 3 to 5 chunks which is more than necessary. For example, you are waking up at 7, you have to keep your 7 to like 9 o'clock till your work starts for your personal work. Like for example, you can make it for your health or your routine etc. And after that from 9 am to 5 pm, it will be your professional work time or your study time where you are pursuing an online course. So that can be that. And after uh, that 5 p.m. you can take a break for yourself like for one hour for yourself or one hour with the family. And after that you can go play or have some fun with your family. Again, that is again your personal life. This is major need to differentiate your personal life and professional life from each other so that you don't mix it up and create a stressful situation for yourself. So the next tip would be to stay connected with your colleagues or fellow students. Because when we are working from home or studying from home, it becomes very very easy to isolate ourselves and dissociate from the whole study or work environment. Because we don't have our colleague or friend next to us to ask about silly doubts and generally chat. So it becomes really isolating and it creates a little bit of heaviness in you which resists your productivity. So to be more productive, make sure to stay connected with your friends or colleagues via online meetings or virtual chats, etc. So that when you're connected, you have a whole idea and you are on loop with the whole project or the course. And this definitely puts you in a better mood and increases your productivity. So the next method I'm going to be talking about is called the Kanban method and it is my most favorite because it has really changed the game for me. All you need is a wall and a few post-its. What you're going to do in this method is segregate the wall into three different corners. To do, in progress and die. As simple as that, you're going to write the tasks in the post-it and place it accordingly. For example, if the task is going to be started, you have to do in a, a post-it in the to-do part. And if it is in the progress, you have to post it in the in-progress part. And when it is done, you'll post it in the done part. By end of the day, you can easily track and know what you have started and what is the progress of each task that you have completed or yet to complete. This is the most easiest and satisfying tracking tool I've ever used. And I bet you that this is going to do wonders for your productivity. The last step may sound really small but it is very very important. Let's say your work is ending by 7. Then you have to sign off and unplug yourself from work then and there and go spend your time with your family at least with yourself. It can be anything because it is very very important to feel a sense of balance between your professional and your personal life. 
because the major reason for being unproductive is that you always feel you're always working you don't have time for yourself or you don't have time for your family this feeling makes you very very unproductive so when you get the sense of balance between your professional and personal life this definitely makes you more productive tell me otherwise and i also have a bonus tip for you guys take each day's every last hour after work for yourself with no distractions and for that one minute of one hour practice gratitude as our ceo says work from home is a very privileged situation that we have all got these days so make sure to remember that privilege that we live with because we get to work from home in our comfortable clothes eat comfortable food and work from our comfortable bed which i've told you not to do so for being productive but again Let's all remember that work from home is a privilege every day for that one minute and move forward with the same thought. And here's my seven and one bonus tip for you to master your work from home and study from home productivity. Hope these tips are useful for you and hope you ace your productivity in your work from home situation and thank me later. So if you like this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe to Guvi and don't forget to click that bell icon.